Hello, this is uh, Dr. Raj Singh. I practice at Healer and Seven Heart Medical Spa in Las Vegas. Today's topic of discussion is bromhydrosis, commonly referred to as excessive body odor or just BO. I recently saw a young female who came in to get evaluation for excessive body odor. So she was clearly very distressed about her condition and that was my motivation to make this video to help her and others her like her in similar situation. So let's get started. Now we all have some body odor which is normal. In certain individuals however, this can be excessive and can be offensive, which can lead to deterioration in quality of someone's life. Now quite often the body odor is detected by others but not by the individual themselves from a condition called as selective anosmia, that means the inability to detect odors. So the individual may be completely unaware that they have extreme body odor. So if you encounter someone like this, you can try saying, you know, well, this is awkward, but I'm sure you're not aware of this, but I really thought you want to know you have a strong body odor. Now don't say something like, you know, you smell really bad and a few people have noticed. Now that is just judgmental and disrespectful and I wouldn't do that. Now we have two types of sweat glands. There are acrine and apocrine. The acrine sweat glands are found all over the body. They help regulate our body temperature by producing sweat. Normally sweat is odorless. Sometimes sweat can become smelly if a large amount of bacteria are present on the skin. Now someone's sweat can also secrete odors from the food we consume. If the food has a lot of garlic, onions, alcohol, certain medications such as penicillin can cause BO. Now the apocrine glands they develop after puberty. They are present in the underarm area, the breast area and the groin region. These are the glands that produce what is called pheromones or our personal scent to attract the opposite sex. Patients who have bromhydrosis tend to have more apocrine glands and they also tend to be larger in size. They also have high levels of dihydrotestosterone in the skin which is also currently being researched as a possible cause. A familial link is possible. Since men have more pheromone secreting glands, this condition is more common in men than women. Now both of these glands are controlled by our sympathetic nervous system, which means if uh, excessive amount of sweating and pheromone tr can be triggered by a anx anxiety or a stress response as well. Now there are certain rare metabolic disorders, phenylketonuria is one, uh, then there is a triethylaminuria in which the odor is sort of distinctive and like fishy in nature. Liver disease, kidney problems, even chronic gout can cause excessive body odor. Now certain cases have been reported where the individual had a whole body laser hair removal and then later developed excessive body odor. However, this is rare. Now how do we diagnose it? So diagnosis is clinically by smelling the affected area and if we don't smell anything, how the patient is convinced they have uh, body odor, then you need to do psychological workup to rule out schizophrenia. Certain blood tests, of course, you know, to rule out liver, kidney problems. Let's talk treatments. So first of all, eliminate odor causing foods from the diet, such as garlic, onions, curry, alcohol, and antibiotics such as penicillin. If the surrounding skin has infection, then you will need antibiotics such as clindamycin, uh, typically applied in, in a topical or a cream form. Improve hygiene, reduce bacteria by using antibacterial soap and rigorous washing of the affected area which is typically the underarms. A wear cotton clothes which can wick moisture away from the skin and prevent bacterial overgrowth. And of course don't wear the same clothes twice without washing. Now reducing sweating is very important. This can be done using antiperspirants, Botox, iontophorosis among others. So if you haven't had a chance, please watch my other video on hyperhidrosis, which discusses this in more detail. Uh, remove hair from the uh, underarms by shaving or laser hair removal. This can help reduce the amount of sweating and may reduce body odor. And like I said, there are certain cases where body odor got worse after having a complete laser hair removal. However, this is rare. A new treatment involves liposuction curettage of the sweat glands in severe cases. 
also microwave destruction of the sweat glands, even surgical excision can be tried when other treatments have failed. So that's it for today. So thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful to you. Uh, if you did like the content, please do not forget to uh, like and subscribe. Thank you again. This is Dr. Raj Singh from uh, Las Vegas. See you back in a few weeks. Thank you. Bye-bye.